Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the MX P50M HF power amplifier. Now this amplifier is advertised as a 45 watt amplifier suitable for QRP radios such as the FT817 IC703 and even the Elecraft KX3. However, this amp will pretty much work with any QRP radio as long as you can output around five watts of RF power to get the maximum of 45 watts out. Now the maximum input for this amplifier is five watts and I would definitely recommend not to overdrive it. Now the reason I purchased this amplifier from AliExpress was because I recently showed you guys my new SDR HF transceiver, the Hermes Light 2. Well, the Hermes Light 2 is a fantastic SDR radio, but it lacks some real power with only five watts out maximum. Now I have a couple of different amplifiers that I've purchased to go with the HL2, but this is the first amplifier that I'm going to test and show you the results of. Now the MXP50M has the usual input and output SO239 connections on the rear, along with the power cable and the PTT cable. The PTT cable is the smaller, thinner black and red cable, and this uses a low signal to activate the PTT. The Hermes Light 2 already has a low signal PTT socket on the rear, so it's extremely easy to connect the HL2 to this amplifier. What's also nice about this amplifier is that it has inbuilt filters for each of the HF handbands. Now switching these filters in and out is manual, but it doesn't take too long to adjust the filter knob on the front of the amp to the required band. There is also an LED indication to let you know which band is selected. So here is my test setup. We have the Hermes Light 2 SDR connected directly into the amplifier. The amplifier is then connected to the HF input on my Nissi SWR and power meter. And on the output side of the meter, I have a 100 watts dummy load. Now just to mention, if you haven't got one of these Nissi SWR meters and you're on the lookout for one of these, this is the one to go for. It covers from 1.6 megahertz all the way up to 525 megahertz and that measures SWR and RF power. Plus, it also looks pretty cool. So let's start testing with the 80 meter band. First, I'll set SDR console software to 3.6 megahertz, and then I'll press the tone button to start transmitting a tone. Now the power slider is fully up, so we should see the power meter showing the RF power level coming from the HL2. As you can see here, it's around five watts. So now if we turn the amplifier on and press the tone button again on SDR console, we can now see an output of around 40 watts. So let's perform the same test on the other bands. So first I'm going to turn off the amplifier and change SDR console to a frequency of 7.1 MHz, which is in the middle of the 40 meter band. Here we can see an output of around 4.5 watts coming from the HL2. And if we turn the amp on and change the band filter to 40 meters, upon pressing the tone button on SDR console, we can now see an output of 35 watts. So let's move on to 30 meters at 10.125 megahertz. Here we're seeing around 5.7 watts coming from the HL2. And with the amp turned on, we're seeing around 45 watts, which is what this amplifier is rated at. So moving on to 20 meters at 14.2 megahertz, we can see the HL2 is outputting around 5.9 watts and with the amplifier turned on, we're seeing around 42 watts. So next we'll try 17 meters at 18.145 megahertz and here we can see the Hermes Light 2 is outputting around 5 watts, which is nice. With the amp turned on, we're now seeing around 42 watts, which is quite similar to what we saw on 20 meters. Now on 15 meters at 21.1 megahertz, the HL2 is outputting around 4.2 watts and with the amplifier turned on and the correct filter set, we see just above 38 watts. So on 24.940 megahertz, which is the 12 meter band, we're seeing 4.5 watts coming from the HL2 and then with the amplifier turned on, we're seeing a smidge over the amp's rated power output of 45 watts, quite impressive. So lastly, we'll test the output power on 10 meters, but as 10 meters is quite wide, we'll test the SSB portion first on 28.5 megahertz. Now the HL2 is putting around 4.3 watts out here and 42 watts with the power amplifier turned on. 
Now, if we jump up to the FM portion of the 10 meter band at 29.5 megahertz and check the HL2 output power, we see four watts. Now with the amp turned on, we're seeing just under 40 watts. So we can see here that the Hermes Light 2 output is roughly around 4.5 to 5 watts of RF output power through the entire HF band. It's also quite interesting to see how well the MXP50M works on different bands and different frequencies. Now while it was able to perform near spec of 45 watts on all bands, it was 10 watts down at 35 watts on the 40 meter band, which is quite disappointing. Now I've read that if you feed these amps with more voltage, then you would likely get a higher output. Although I wouldn't recommend this as I don't believe this to be an official recommendation. If you're interested to know, I was feeding the Hermes Light 2 and the amp from the same power supply at 13.8 volts. So today I made a nice QSO on 40 meters with a bit of integer happening here in the UK. So here is the QSO. It was quite long, so I'll just edit it down. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Um, very good, uh, very good afternoon to you. The name is Doug Delta Oscar Uniform Golf. Name is Doug. And the QTH is a place called Sid Cup Sierra India Delta Charlie Uniform Papa. Sid Cup is a QTH and Sid Cup is just on the Kent uh, London border. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey Golf 6 India November Uniform. Go ahead. Yeah, very uh, very good afternoon, Doug. Yeah, no problem at all. You're 5'9 plus 10, peaking plus 20. Quite strong. You're in Sid Cup, Kent. I'm in, uh, I'm in Buckinghamshire. I'm over uh, near a town called Great Missenden. And, um, yeah, the name here is Matt Mexico Alpha Tango. Currently running around, uh, only running around 20, 25 watts at the moment through uh, Hermes Light. SDR transceiver, uh, but uh, nice to work you for the first time, Doug. Uh, nice to see some uh, short skip uh, into G on the uh, 40. Uh, anyway, I put the uh, microphone back to you. I wonder what your setup is there. G6 INU M0 DQW. Yeah, M0 DQW, G6 INU. Oh, it sounded nice. Nice audio from it. Uh, but very punchy, I will say. So you're doing well with the uh, the 40 watts there, uh, Dave, you actually kept up to five and nine on that one, so that was a bit of a miracle, HI. And uh, yeah, sounding sounding very good, uh, Dave. Very punchy, and uh, say so doing the doing a nice job with the uh, the quality audio there. Okay, okay, uh, Matt, and uh, yeah, so it, it is. It's a very very change. It's a little bit more um, constant uh, earlier today. I wasn't on much. I was, but I I did listen to a few QSOs, and they certainly were a lot more. Uh, uh, a constant in the uh, signals, but uh, this afternoon it seems to be slipping away uh, uh, quite quickly, you know. Anyway, Matt, all the very best. Thanks very, very much indeed, and uh, anywhere sort of between five, five and five and nine uh, uh, would, would be the report, I suppose. Anyway, Dave, just back to you quickly, but it, yeah, it's sounding good, that uh, Hermes. Yeah, no, I think it was designed in Australia originally, wasn't it? I think the Anan. The, the, the Anan is based on the on the same some of the same technology, isn't it? Uh, M0 DQW G6 sign. You go ahead, Dave. Uh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I was I was. <laughs> G6 INU M0 DQW. Yeah, um, you, you kept calling me Dave, and I just had this flashback of, uh, you know, of um, uh, Only Fools and Horses, you know. Uh, why do you call me Dave? My name's not Dave, it's Matt. <laughs> it, made me, it made me chuckle to myself. I don't know if you're an Only Fools and Horses fan, but. Uh, so there we go, guys. An overview of the MXP50M. 45 watt HF amplifier and as you can see there it was working extremely well along with the Hermes Light 2 and the more I use the Hermes Light 2 the more I'm liking it if you haven't seen my video on the Hermes Light 2 please go and check it out it's definitely worth a watch now my next video on QRP amplifiers will be covering the 125B amplifier which is a 100 watt amplifier with a built-in antenna tuner so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure that you subscribed with the bell notification turned on. Had to get that in there because it seems like all other YouTubers seem to say that. Anyway, I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.